So I'm gonna go on a little rant here because many people are saying that the iPhone 16 didn't really get a huge upgrade and I don't believe that to be the case. In this video, I'm gonna list all the features in rapid fire, all the new features that freaked me out. I thought I was an alligator. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm going to list all the changes because Apple didn't mention every single change on stage. They only kind of mentioned like the more important changes, but it goes a lot deeper than that. So the iPhone 16 upgraded the chip from the A16 to the second generation A18. They upgraded the main camera, upgraded the ultra wide camera sensor, which now has better low light performance and autofocus, the anti-reflective coating on the fusion camera, more efficient display, RAM increased from six gigs to eight gigabytes. You get the action button, the capture button, you get Apple intelligence, you get a newer modem for better and more efficient connectivity. You get better battery life, faster MagSafe charging from 15 Watts to 25 Watts. Second generation ceramic shield increased brightness Wi-Fi has been upgraded to Wi-Fi 7 audio mix spatial photos and videos new thermal management new photonic engine better video stabilization better low light performance thanks to the new ISP upgraded machine learning algorithm to remove wind noise when talking on the phone or recording video and latest uh, gen uh, photographic styles which now lets you change kind of the style of the photo after you you've already taken the photo, which wasn't possible before. And I'm probably missing a few other features, but at minimum, there are 23 new features, and that's just on the iPhone 16. Like, we're not even counting the iPhone 16 Pro, which has a lot more features, such as 4K 120. So it kind of confuses me when people say that the iPhone 16 is the same as the iPhone 15, when in fact, Apple literally changed, like, everything, except the 120 hertz display. We, we don't have that, but that's it. Like, that's like the only thing that they didn't touch. Actually, let me know down below what changes Apple needs to make to the iPhone 16 for it to be considered a quote unquote huge kind of upgrade because, you know, other than the 120 hertz display, because I, I highly doubt that one change is going to be like a make it or break it situation for most casual people out there. Believe it or not, there are a ton of people out there that don't even know what the third lens is on the iPhone. Believe it or not, I swear to God. Look for yourself. And in fact, some people think that the third camera on the iPhone is the macro camera, which is just not true. It's an ultra wide camera with autofocus and 100,000 people agreed with that comment. That's wild. So let me ask you this. If Apple did put in the 120, I hope I don't step on a snake. If Apple did put in a 120 hertz display into the iPhone 16, do you think those people are really going to notice? Of course not. So that's why I said it's not a huge upgrade if Apple did include the 120 hertz display. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I wish it had it? Of course. Yeah, heck yeah. But I'm a tech reviewer and tech enthusiast. Of course, I want the best of the best. But Apple isn't targeting tech enthusiasts and tech reviewers. They're targeting just normal people. The iPhone 16 is a pretty darn substantial upgrade. And come here, listen to me. You don't need to upgrade every single year. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Why people do that, I don't know. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Other phone manufacturers do also these same types of upgrades. I mean, just take a look at the difference of the Galaxy S23 to the S24. The differences are even smaller than comparing the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 16. I mean, honestly, if you don't believe me, go on Samsung's website, go to the compare and see for yourself. They're basically the same thing. Even the Pixel 8 to the Pixel 9 changed just about as much as the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 16. Better chip, better cameras, better battery, uh, better durability, more AI, and so on and so forth. The fact is, believe it or not, no company changes their phones uh, hugely year over year. That Literally, no company does that. Please find me a phone that had like a dramatic difference from one phone generation to another phone generation. You, you can't, it's basically the same upgrades as the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 16, better camera, uh, better battery life, AI nowadays, 
uh, better this, better that, better display, brighter display, so on and so forth. It's the same upgrades every single year from every single company. So why people expect Apple to do these like huge innovations every single year when in fact the only thing that the iPhone 16 is missing, and I mean literally the only thing, is like I said, the 120 hertz display. That's pretty much it. If you want big, large updates, like I said, don't upgrade every year. First of all, it's just a waste of money in my opinion. Uh, but also if you wait two, three years, you're gonna get a huge upgrade, like massive upgrade. So in other words, the iPhone 16 is a pretty decent upgrade over the iPhone 15. They changed basically everything that they could possibly change, except like I said, the 120 hertz display. That's the only thing basically that didn't change. And I'm not defending Apple either. In fact, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is my favorite phone and truthfully, I just prefer Android and that's fine. But remember, if you attack Apple for not doing huge upgrades year over year, you kind of have to attack other companies as well because they do the same thing.